Wings and Shadow. And this is for um, my final English assignment. And we're going to play some Warframe. Whoa. Woohoo! So, uh, so Panda, who are you going to play? Chicken Nuggets, Gara. Chicken, Chicken Nuggets. Alright, and then Shadow. Chicken, Chicken Nuggets. And Shane. Oh, I'm sorry, Blaze. Wisp. Wisp. Alright. And who are you playing? You're really. So you're saying that if we do an exterminate, we probably should do it on a harder level? Alright. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's if I put a mod on her on my person first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to go with uh, your pretty princess that throws um, sparkling laser bombs, the disco ball? Oh yeah, no, this is gonna be over quick. Then never mind. <laughs> Are you wanting like a hundred enemies or like two hundred enemies? <laughs> oh, give me as much as you can throw because they're all going to get disintegrated. Alright. I'm playing Mirage now. <laughs> Alright, so I think we're going to go to Pluto. Let's see, that's sabotage, interception, survival. Assassination. I, I don't know if it has an exterminate. <laughs> <laughs> Where's it at? Every planet has. I found it. It's a uh, and it's on Mint. No, that's a new loca. Oh, narcissus. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> it's also an invasion. Um, since we're doing this, well, I don't know. I could probably take your Ellie. She's just Oh, not yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah, she, I can get on my, uh, my board and just, like, race around shooting things. That'd be fun. I just look into a direction and they all disappear for some reason. <laughs> don't know what happens. Oh. Is that whenever you, you try to party with him and throw him the disco ball? When I throw the disco ball, it's like everyone disappears. I don't know where they go. It's like they're done hanging out. Oh, still. Oh, sorry. All right. Corpus technology won't be enough to stop us. Okay, good, I got the buffs. Hey, Blaze, how do you open this door again? I totally forgot. Oh. How do you what? Open that door, I forgot. Um... <laughs> Sorry, I should have... muted myself for that. Um... There's a secret passage in the elevator. Oh! Where's the elevator?
I know you marked it. Oh, there is. Aha! Alright, are we ready to go? Oh! Never mind. What? The phone call wasn't done, so I went ahead and muted myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was that for you? No. Oh. It was just a random thing, but it was leaving a message, so... The ambulance is down. Hack into its systems. Panda, did you take on some big enemy? No, I'm just sitting in the room. Trying to get in. Oh, it was Shadow! I feel like we're doing a great job showing how much random stuff can happen. <laughs> <laughs> right? What? It's never random. It's all blue. I think. Unfortunately, I'm showing a, a great thing of how to lose my whole team and the whole thing. No, 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 help me! No, 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 what? No, no, no. Yeah, he fell down do? and he can't save himself at this point. He's just no, delaying no, the inevitable. No. What did you no. do? No such thing as the inevitable. I'm watching. I'm watching this losing battle. I will prevail. No. Oh, yes. You did it. Come on, you got this. Let's Quiet. go. Yes. Good job. High <laughs> core skills. Oh, I did all that just to go back here? Oh, well, what a waste of time! <laughs> cool! <laughs> Could I just let myself drop? <laughs> oh, loot! He's putting water bombs over that place. This is the right way to go. Oh, it's this way. I feel like we're just taking the tour of the map. Yeah, pretty much. So this is over here. That scared me. <laughs> what? What scared you? Oh, well, that's great. <laughs> what? Mm. <laughs> I didn't know you guys were here. I was trying to revive you, but. <laughs> Panda, where are you at? My aunt called me and it scared me. It was really loud. <laughs> she needs help with groceries when she gets here. Okay. In our defense, it is like early in the morning. Normally, well, yeah. Who triggered the alarm? Um, not me. Or Shahla. I didn't do anything. Panda! Uh. <laughs> not my fault. It's all Blaze's fault. I wasn't even around any enemies, so. <laughs>
Ooh, it's I. I evaporated all of them. Just not quickly enough, so I need to this skull ball. No, my only weakness is me wanting to go fast. The door. <laughs> Teamwork. Now get to extraction. Yep, some missions require zero teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess I should have said in my defense I've been up since like 5 o'clock in the morning. 5.30. Uh, I haven't either. Neither have I. It feels like eating anyways. <laughs> I'm holding off of what I had in mind to say. <laughs> okay, I know I know why I went down. I form a Girelli. Did you forget that? Yes. I knew before we went into the mission. <laughs> I thought you knew what you were doing, but... <laughs> That's okay. She's already three. That that was great. Once I fully level up the Arca Plasma, that's going to be my new gun for uh, Steel Path. Should we do that one one more time? For good measure? Would it be better to run something like a, uh, I don't know, five minute survival or something so that you can actually... Yeah, we could do that. <laughs> Let me get oh, Cora. Well, definitely be Gara. Huh? What, Shadow? Uh-huh. I was just thinking, you know, something where you wouldn't necessarily have a limited number of enemies <laughs> since we were kind of just following. <laughs> You're just following. I'm pretty sure you got at least a kill. But you had more than me. See, you had nine and I only had 97. <laughs> <laughs> you had a lot more kills than me. <laughs> ha. I find your math. Um. Uh-huh. Depressing. <laughs> I was never good at math anyway, so... Something every teacher wants to hear. <laughs> of course. Well, at least you're taking the least damage. You say that now, but uh, but must go faster will make this interesting. 
Well, speed is key. That's right. <coughs> Dude, my arms, my hands are killing me. Ouch. You weren't playing with scissors again, were you? Nope. Just okay. dry skin. Okay. And I can't use normal lotion for it because it burns my hands. Did you try aquifer? Try what? Aquifer. You can find oh, it at that's Walmart. What I know. Yeah, you can find it at Walmart. The enemy A fellow tunnel operative raids the ship for supplies. Ready? Mm, no, I haven't been playing with scissors yet today. <laughs> yet is Just not something I wanted systems. to know. I'm sending life support capsules your way. What is your favorite uh, part of Warframe? Um, favorite part probably the story. Which storyline is your favorite? Um, either Second Dream or Chains of Horror. Good one. All right, Shadow, you're up next. Definitely, and your favorite frame is? <laughs> Shadow. What's your favorite frame? Uh, I Support capsule to the area. Um, Activating it will buy you more. <laughs> Well, I mean, I'd have to go with something along the lines of what Shadow was saying, because I do really like the storyline, but one of the main things that's drawn me to this game is having all these different frames, because it's like having a different character in in each one. Very different feel to each, generally. Additional and your favorite character? Has um... That's really hard to say, but I guess I would probably lean towards Brodia, even though I'm not playing as her right now. Because she's a time frame. What do you mean by time frame? Her fourth ability lets her set down an anchor and after a certain amount of time of her moving and like attacking enemies and using abilities, she'll rewind that anchor automatically and gain back the energy she spent on abilities as well as do like a time explosion dealing extra damage to the enemies. Mm -hmm. 
something like that. Oh, dude, trainers are so annoying. I never like going up against them. Whereas I actually played Tracer. Frames are dropping, just to let you guys know. A jewel? Oh, Oh, okay. A star. <laughs> I always beat Trace with Moira. Moira is amazing. I mean, I'm, I, I'm not gonna go particularly into talking about Overwatch because it's a different game. <laughs> I played a few different characters on there. That's all I'm gonna say. A Warframe because it has a lot of detail. Uh, the storyline is amazing, and I do love the fact that you can keep changing frames. Well, the raid is off to a successful start. You could also say the movement's amazing. I do like yeah. the movement. If you need it. No other game has this movement. We're out. didn't go through and steal all of Panda's kills just for that guy this time. <laughs> that was bad. I'm so sorry. What was there, like 30 enemies? Yeah, it was. <laughs> There's a coin guy. Everyone's dead over there. <laughs> just as I was about to test out an ability and just everyone's gone. I was like, oh, where'd everyone go? <laughs> Invited. Get out of here. <laughs> what is this? What? Oh. It's like a shield. Oh, yeah. Out of here. You weren't invited. Oh, you're invited. <laughs> I mean, in all the games I've played, I've never seen a game that has this enjoyable of a movement system. I would have to agree. Especially the difference from being on land and then in space. Sometimes. Yeah, I mean, the map only has so much size to it. <laughs> Alright, and then also, the really cool thing is, you can see all the people that you're gaming with out here. And then, you can decorate your ship however you want to decorate it. And these are my little drones, this is where you build things. And I do happen to have more frames waiting for me here. Then, this is where you change your frame out. And this is 
I'm, I'm still working on this. To, you, you, you know, this is here, but it's supposed to be all done. I was trying to space it out a little differently, and so now it just, yeah, it's chaos in the wall. But then, these are from different things, different stories, different achievements. These are all my, my bobbleheads. This is a game within a game. You can play all these games. This is actually where you can actually play like a, a Mortal Kombat Street Fighter kind of game inside your ship with somebody you invite to your orbiter. Literally the laggiest game ever. Right. But you can use pretty much any frame in the, in the game. And then, this is from the Profit Taker. This big, huge, spider-looking person. And then, these are little floofs. Um, Wait. Yes? I think you meant the Exploiter Orb. Yes, yeah, sorry, the Exploiter Orb. The Profit Taker is... We, we haven't actually done the Profit Taker, have we? Not yet. Well, we they were look... leveling up our guns first. Um... They look about the same, they're just different colors and different missions. Then, these are fish that you can catch in different areas. I have one from each of the open space worlds. Uh, this is from a different storyline. Some of these pictures, like this one right here, you can change them out. And there's like nine different types that you can pick from. Um, then if you come in here, this is where you can help your operator, which is a big key part of the storyline. More floofs. Basically when you collect different um, animals in different open worlds, you can get uh, floofs from different tags that you, you capture, and then they go to nice places to live, we hope. <laughs> um, and then this is actually from the mission that we just did. We got a granum crown uh, or a coin, and this is from that storyline. All of these little pictures. You can actually exchange them for that, or you can uh, for these coin or these pictures right here, or you can exchange them for um, uh, you can exchange them for. Um, uh, actually going in to get a certain frame. And Which, at least the flutes are not like you originally thought they were, right? Oh, yeah, I thought that it was a taxidermy thing and it was bad. This is Audrey. And it wants to eat, but um, these are all the this is the graveyard. This is all the sacrificed warframes. Long story there. Um, Each flower represents a frame. Yes. Um, the cool. Absolutely. And, and then, ability. Yeah. <laughs> and then this is the codex where you can access all of the different. I love how you, it's like in one area where you can access all the, the different storylines and then you can actually redo them. There's so much to this game that I can't really... I know we call them kids, but how old are the operators really? <laughs> that is a good question. So, all in all, I think this is an amazing game. I think that um, it's definitely worth checking one out, and we'll see you guys next time.